The NICU may be a stressful place for new parents. I spoke with a mom who says the support and care she's receiving is helping her through this moment in time. Here's this month's second Sunday health report. Over two weeks ago, Bailey Holes had her baby boy Sutton at 11 weeks before his due date, weighing three pounds. At that point, my husband and I didn't know what was going on. Bailey went through a placenta abruption, a serious pregnancy complication in which the placenta detaches from the uterus. The nurse that we had was going through every single possible scenario with us. Um, the NICU nurse came in. We had the high-risk OB in. After delivery, Sutton's doctor at Bryan Health says he had to have a number of different tubes for extra support. He had to have nutrition through a special uh, IV line placed in his belly button. And over time, he has slowly tolerated feedings through a tube that goes into his stomach. Sutton has a two-year-old brother. Bailey says balancing a life at home with a NICU baby can be very challenging. It's tough. I mean, you're constantly being pulled in other directions. Never really know if you're in the right spot with a two-year-old at home. But having family and friends helping out and just being there is is definitely what's getting us, getting us through. In Nebraska, 10% of babies are born prematurely, and the length of stay for those babies at Bryan Health is 16 days, which is below the national average. A lot of parents, unfortunately, get to experience the NICU, and it's uh, definitely it can be a stressful place, and so awareness is important for kind of education and to ensure that other moms and parents are aware of what kind of goes on here. Bryan Health staff say it takes a big team to take care of each baby in their NICU. This caterpillar slowly being filled out by the nurses, documenting Sutton's firsts. They are constantly adding things to his little caterpillar, making signs for him, um, just making sure he's as comfortable as possible. In just two weeks, Sutton has made quite the progress. Oh my gosh, yes, you know that I'm here. And so he doesn't have to have feedings through the IV tube anymore, and he does most of his breathing on his own now. And now his main job is to work on uh, growing mainly. Bailey says she will continue to see her miracle baby every day in the NICU until he is ready to go home. Just seeing how tough he's being just kind of makes you realize like, well, you gotta just <laughs> be tough as well because he needs you and that's the most important thing. And the Holes want to thank everyone who has played a role in making Sutton healthier.